in the corridors of Christus Trinity Mother Francis Hospital in Tyler, Texas, William George Davis was a well-liked nurse. Affable and sociable, he worked for five years with no significant disciplinary history. And then everything changed in 2017 and 2018. As they recovered from cardiac surgery, several patients developed significant stroke-like symptoms. While the majority of patients survived the strokes with lasting disability, four died. They initially appeared to be unlucky coincidences. However, as the hospital investigated, they observed an alarming pattern. Davis's arrest affidavit stated that he was spotted on surveillance tape entering the rooms of patients recovering from heart surgery on multiple occasions just before their situations drastically deteriorated. Davis was found to be pumping air into their four lines, causing irreversible neurological damage. His purported motivation was even more macabre, he informed his wife that he was harming patients in order to accrue additional extra hours. Davis killed at least four people, John Lafferty, Ronald Clark, Christopher Greenaway, and Joseph Kalina, in 2017 and 2018 after injecting air into their arterial lines caused brain damage. Davis was convicted of four charges of murder in October. He was convicted of capital offenses and sentenced to death. Davis's deadly spree has perplexed the victim's friends and family, but also those who used to work with him. He didn't require the overtime, a co-worker tells people in the latest issue. We were significantly understaffed. Overtime was available to anyone who desired it. As a result, it makes no sense. My assessment of Will is that he was a sick individual who desired to kill. Meanwhile, many family members and friends are perplexed as to why Davis targeted their relatives and friends for death. Why Chris? Inquired a friend of victim Christopher Greenaway. It's taken some time to adjust to the fact that he was simply a nasty person who did what he pleased, for whatever purpose he pleased. Chris was a man who blessed us with his presence in our lives. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.